of the candidates, who wins will come down to getting their supporters to the polls tomorrow. So the campaigns were burning up the phone lines tonight. Nine on your side, Evan Millward joins us with that. Evan. Well, Tanya, let's face it, we're not even to the primary yet, and many of you are probably sick of politics. I'm not talking about signs on the side of the road. Maybe you've got a phone call at home or a knock on your door. It's all worth it, the campaign say, because those two are the most effective ways of getting out the vote. I'm with Rob Corman for U.S. Senate. Can I ask you two quick questions today? These Republican volunteers in Terrace Park are spending hours on the phone. And which issue is most important to you? Or knocking on doors. Is it critical or is it a waste? There's a lot of studies that show that going out and actually talking to an individual voter really gives a, uh, a human element to the campaign process. Democrats are working hard too. We found this volunteer canvassing in Evanston. The most important thing right before the election is just talking to as many voters as possible. You might expect that personal touch doesn't always work. At Hillary Clinton's phone bank near Lachlan. Hello. They also got a few not so nice reactions. No, they're not. <laughs> They're very nasty at times. <laughs> yes. You can't take it personally, they say. It's politics. Oh, she's not there. Okay. All right, thanks. Now, here's something else all the campaigns we talked to today told me. It's that these grassroots last-minute efforts are largely being run by young people, some even too young to drive, just in high school. And because I wanted to know, I'm sure you did too, all of the campaigns we follow today, stopped making calls at 8 or 9 so they wouldn't bother you tonight. We're live in Chevy and I'm Evan Millward 9 on your side.